Now, this is an event which is 40 odd years in the making, but finally, I've arrived at Humpty Doo in the North. Tragic death of British comedian Tony Knight in freak accident. In a devastating turn of events, British comedian Tony Knight, widely known as the Doc Listener, tragically passed away following a freak accident at the Rock and Cars Festival in Lavaux, France. Knight, who was 54 years old, was struck by falling tree branches, leading to fatal injuries. The incident, which also resulted in injuries to four other attendees, has left the entertainment world and his beloved ones in shock and mourning. Tony Knight was enjoying his annual vacation in France when the unforeseen accident occurred. According to reports from Le Tourne Libre and Entertainment Weekly, the comedian was attending the festival when two large tree branches suddenly fell, striking him and others. Knight succumbed to his injuries on the scene, making a tragic end to his vibrant life. Joanne Allen, Knight's partner's sister, set up a GoFundMe page to support his widow Haley and cover the unforeseen funeral expenses. In a touching tribute, Allen wrote, Tony was tragically killed in his beloved France on Saturday 7th June following a terrible accident while attending the Rock and Cars Festival in Lavaux. He was only 54 and having the time of his life. He was fit, healthy, happy and had everything going for him. He was charismatic, funny, passionate and so very loved by Haley, his family and his friends all over the world. The GoFundMe page also highlighted the immense challenges Haley now faces. Living in Buyak, she is navigating the complexities of dealing with Tony's death, which involves liaising with local authorities, doctors, and handling Knight's estate amid her overwhelming grief. The fundraiser aims to elevate some of these burdens by assisting with the financial costs and supporting Haley through this unimaginable ordeal. Haley is now living her worst nightmare and facing life without Tony, her soulmate. The page reads, She's in Buyak having to deal with the difficulties of Tony being an Englishman with Australian residency living in France, arranging a funeral, covering hospital expenses, meeting police detectives, doctors, and the mayor, visiting the accident site, and sorting Tony's estate all the while experiencing a crushing amount of grief and disbelief in a foreign country. Tony Knight was celebrated not only for his comedic talent but also for his passionate engagement with audiences as the dog listener. His ability to bring joy and laughter will be sorely missed by fans, friends and family worldwide. As they come to terms with his loss, the outpouring of love and support stands as a testament to the profound impact Knight had on those around him. Knight's untimely death serves as a heartbreaking reminder of the unpredictable nature of life, leaving a legacy of laughter, love, and cherished memories.